like three hours of sleep. We're about to hit Melbourne early. This is what I mean when like you gotta put in work. If you wanna grow your channel, you wanna get better. You gotta sacrifice some things in order to make that happen. Sleep is something I sacrifice in order to make that happen. Today is the official first day of VidCon Australia 2018. So badge day doesn't um, actually start until 4 p.m. What I'm trying to say is VidCon is not just the event. VidCon is a, is a mindset that people from different backgrounds, different ages, different uh, skin colors, nationalities, cultures, belief systems, right? <clears throat> Who don't have to agree on everything to be friends, can come together and, uh, and meet and get to know each other, right? To bridge a gap on such a massive scale that previous generations couldn't even touch, right? Previous generations, they could bridge a gap. They could bridge a gap like champs. Normally it took a catalyst, it took a tra tragedy, it took um, long distances, it took snail mail, it took, uh, you know, Morse code, it took, you know, Wells Fargo delivering some shit. Like it was very hard to bridge those gaps because of the of the times, right? But in this day and age that we live in, the gap is not as wide as it used to be. Ask yourself what friendship means to you, and can anyone be friends? Think about that for real. When you say, when I say anyone, I mean anyone. Can anyone actually truly be friends? I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys soon. So, I need to go do it. Oh my god. This day, it's amazing. Let's go. time to hook up the Panasonic to the gimbal. Here's the question I'm gonna ask. And I don't think it's an unreasonable question, but I, I, I'm hoping everybody, I don't wanna explain it to me. I'm hoping everybody kind of gets what I'm trying to get at, understands the concept, but then I also hope that they interpret it their own way. And in doing so, their answers are going to answer your questions, answer thoughts that you might have had, maybe questions you didn't even know you had. Uh, Joshua Renee. Joshua Renee, and, yeah. and you have a YouTube channel or no? Yeah, it's called This and That. Uh, we're a small, small common group that just wants to really do anything. That's the whole point of the name, This and That. Uh, and the whole point of it is, uh, in the long run, hopefully getting people to just like throw us whatever ideas they want and uh, whatever really like pops in their heads, uh, we'll do it. You know, that's the fun thing about it. Enjoying ourselves and just going nuts. <laughs> awesome. Hi, I'm Laura. Uh, I pretty much do more behind the scenes work, so I do editing, I do photography, I do videography, just stuff like that. Um, you can follow me at Miss Noten, so M-I-S-S-N-O-T-U-R-N, -S 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 and yep, that's on Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Hey guys, my name's Tazzy, um, T-A-Z-I-H-3-R-O. I'm a YouTuber, I vlog, I game, I tech, I everything you could possibly think of in the one channel and I absolutely love it. Outstanding. Hey guys, I'm Liam. I uh, am a content creator for Liam Change Media. Um, I do photography, everything like that. Come and check it out. Awesome. Where, where can they find you? You guys can find me on YouTube on Fridays at 12 p.m. New Zealand Standard Time. Wednesdays um, at 6 p.m. New Zealand Standard Time and on Sundays. I'm Amara of Amara in Seattle. Um, and we do Travel Tuesdays on my channel called Amara Not in Seattle because I travel a fair amount. It's adventure lifestyle content and I have a vlogging channel too called Amara in Seattle Vlogs. It's a whole world of adventure and what you can do with it. Awesome, awesome. Can creators be true friends? Creators? Oh. Now this is very good because like 
way back when I started uh, my first channel, which was just like, you know, kind of like a kick drop. It didn't really do anything. Had a few games on there, you know, Dark Souls and whatnot. And it was just me and my mate, uh, primarily. We just had fun. Uh, then eventually we came together with his cousin and his best mate and we uh, started this group, this YouTube group uh, called This and That. And uh, yeah, it's been, you can definitely feel the tension that comes from like having to get to the, um, get to gigs on time, uh, you know, planning out ideas, writing. We've got one of our, one of the guys is trying to write a horror skit and yeah, it can be very daunting sometimes, very stressful and uh, honestly, if you're in it just to have fun, if you're in it to make money or whatever your reasons are, as long as you're going in it with the hopes just to make some genuine content for people and for yourself, just as an enjoyment, at least bet like bar none as an enjoyment, then I don't think it's ever going to be a problem for you to be true friends as creators. And that goes for every creator that might do a, a collab or uh, you know. Videos, videos that might be incredibly more stressful than the ones I'm planning out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah. Okay, so today we're asking one simple question, and that is, can content creators be true friends? <laughs> That's a hard one. That's really hard. Because, I mean, you can look at it as a way that a bigger creator might not know if if somebody's trying to be a friend with them. They wouldn't know if it's genuine, if they want to be genuinely their friends, or they're just using them for the clout. But on the other hand, I mean, I've seen creators of many different channel sizes mingle and hang out. And even if, it, even if they do different things, they all just manage to come together. So... There's no real answer to that question. <laughs> awesome. Right. Awesome. Thank you, Laura. Okay. Uh, so, do you think that creators can be true friends? Hell yeah. Definitely. I've met some of my closest friends from YouTube. I have great friends, EQ, Kirk, Donaldson, uh, Andrew. It's just there's so many people that I've met that are on the same wavelength that I am, and it just makes sense. So yeah, definitely got to be friends. I mean, if you're not, you're kind of being fake. You're not being who you truly are if you can't find friends in the industry that you're working in. Here's the question. Do you think content creators can be true friends? For sure. I mean, anything that you're passionate about with each other should be a friendship just in general. I mean, sure there's collabing, which is great. There's taking photos with, with each other, that's great. But I think if you establish a real relationship with that person um, and become friends with them, then you'll make better content, better everything, and you actually become really good friends. The question today is, do you think content creators can be true friends? I really do think content creators can be true friends. In fact, I kind of think that some of my best friends have happened as a result of YouTube spaces um, and being part of the world of making things online. That's partially because I've met so many driven, wonderful people doing this. And I think that's really, for me, that's part of what we call internet magic in my world, um, in Amar and Seattle land, because you meet people who are interested in different things than you but they're still really, really passionate about what they're doing. So you end up with friends that are going to teach you things, and you end up with friends that are really driven towards similar goals as you. So uh, I think some of my best friends, I mean, like this one, I like him a lot, and, and as a result, we, we only met because of going to conventions and things like that. So yeah, I totally think content creators can be true friends. I just think you have to really get to know a person and spend time with them and maybe create content together to find out who they really are.